Hi, my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere Technical Marketing Group and I focus on vSphere security. Today we're going to be talking about vSphere 6.5 security, what's new, specifically vMotion encryption and virtual machine encryption. Virtual machine encryption's main focus is on manageability. By just right-clicking on a virtual machine and applying a storage policy, I can encrypt that virtual machine. It is both scalable and easy to manage. It requires no modification to the, to the virtual machine itself. It is completely virtual machine agnostic, meaning it doesn't matter what the guest OS is running, any supported guest OS works. It is data store agnostic because the encryption is happening within the hypervisor before the I.O. ever hits the data store. So you can use NFS, iSCSI, even vSAN. And it's also virtual machine hardware independent. It encrypts both the VMDK files and the virtual machine files such as VMX and snapshot files. There's no access to the encryption keys by the guest. That is very, very important. And it has full support of encrypted vMotion for every virtual machine that is encrypted. How does this work? Well, when I create a virtual machine and I apply the policy of encryption policy, the ESX host creates a unique data encryption key. That key in turn is encrypted with a key from a third party key manager. Vcent when I power on the virtual machine, vCenter requests that key from the key manager. That key is then sent from vCenter to the ESX host. It is never persisted within vCenter. It is not only sent to the ESX host the virtual machine is running on, but is also sent to all members of an HA cluster. That unlocks the data encryption key with the key encryption key, allowing I.O. coming from the virtual machine to be encrypted within the hypervisor. If you want to do automation, you can see that one line of PowerShell using the PowerCLI modules for VM encryption make it really easy. For encrypted vMotion, you right-click on a virtual machine and you select either disabled, opportunistic, or required. Required forces an encrypted vMotion. Opportunistic is for when you try to vMotion from a 6.5 to a 6.0 system, and th in that case, the vMotion would be in the clear. The vMotion network is not encrypted. It is the data going over the vMotion network. So when I right-click on the virtual machine and I select Migrate, vCenter creates a one-time use 256-bit key and a 64-bit nunce. That nunce and key are added to the migration spec and sent to both hosts within the vMotion. At that stage, all of the data going over the vMotion network, essentially the contents of memory of that virtual machine, are sent encrypted over that network. It's very simple to do at scale changes to force an encrypted vMotion across all of your virtual machines using PowerCLI. For more information, visit blogs.vmware.com slash vSphere, featurewalkthrough.vmware.com, and pubs.vmware.com.